Hey guys, it's Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. It is still July and it is still National Ice Cream Month. Can you imagine a 100 calorie ice cream sandwich? Too good to be true, right? There's gotta be some sacrifice. We're gonna find out in this episode of Freezer Burns. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. Today, we're reviewing this. It is the Klondike 100 calorie vanilla ice cream sandwich. $3.69 for this box. Now, if you were with us with our last episode, we did the Briars Smooth and Dreamy Bar. That was 130 calories per bar, and it was really good. I gave it a perfect five out of five star. As I mentioned in the intro, it is still National Ice Cream Month, and today, we're gonna go for this one. It's from Klondike, formerly Slim A Bear, which I guess it's cute, uh, but now, just 100 calorie Klondike Bar, and let's see what it says on the outside. It says, artificially flavored vanilla low-fat ice cream sandwiches, Okay, and it's vanilla, and it's a sandwich, and it's six three fluid ounce, 88 milliliter sandwiches. Okay, that's interesting. Now, what do we got on the cover? Nothing much, it's way airbrushed, it's almost illustrative. I don't even know if that's an actual picture. Uh, but it looks like we got this little like deckle cut, um, brown, chocolatey wafer. Let's see if it's cakey or more uh, cracker-like. And then we got this nice swirly ice cream on the inside. Let's see if that rings true when we actually open it up. So, as I mentioned, 100 calories, that's 15 from fat. And um, you know, about the sugar thing, 10 grams of sugar per bar. I'm gonna open this up here. And here's what we got. Comes in a plastic wrap. Decent size, maybe about the size. You know what? This is a, this is the perfect size. This is about the diameter of a um, air hockey puck. Okay, Just give you an idea of size. It's not like a full size ice cream um, sandwich or a cookie sandwich uh, that they have. This dry on the outside, not spongy. Um, it's got a little give on here. We do have some of that swirl, but. Let's face it, it's not as perfect as the box and, and whatever is as perfect as the box. Let's see how this tastes. The cake, <laughs> the cake, this Cookie top and bottom tastes like a um, 100 calorie pack Oreo type taste. I don't know if you've ever had those Oreo, um, it's not in the freezer aisle, but the uh, 100 calorie Oreos. It's that kind of taste of the chocolate. Um, the combination of the chocolate and the ice cream together yeah, certainly tastes like a ice cream sandwich, but with a, just a, there is a ton of artificial type aftertaste going on here. Certainly not as pure as I would have liked. Granted, it's 100 calorie. You're gonna make some sacrifices, and in terms of taste, I feel like there are a ton of sacrifices here. This is the Klondike 100 calorie vanilla ice cream sandwich, $3.69 for a box of six. I applaud the 100 calorie type initiative. The quantity, okay, it's probably good if you're caring about 100 calories, but if you truly care about an ice cream sandwich taste or a taste of good vanilla ice cream, I think you should stay away from this. Uh, it's very artificial tasting. Um, it leaves a really weird aftertaste, one that I personally do not like. I give this a two and a half out of five star. Question of the day, what is your favorite thing that's swirly? Leave it in the comment section or leave me a voicemail at the Hungry Nation hotline. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.